Okay, Aquarius. So for your current energy, um, your hopes, your fears, what you're expecting, we have the five of pentacles here and the five of pentacles can actually represent, um, financial struggle, financial struggle. So some of you in regards to a relationship, um, you know, maybe as a couple, you're facing financial struggles, or this could also relate to your fears that you're having financial struggles and it's affecting your relationship. Um, it could also relate to loss of, of some type right now for some of you. Some of you are feeling alone. Uh, you might be in a relationship, but you, you feel like you're on your own. I feel like some of you are feeling a lack of support and that you're just having to shoulder everything yourself. And because if you look here, it's like the pinnacles are kind of disappearing and there's this other like ghostly figure and this one person is here all alone. So if you have someone in your current relationship, you may kind of feel like you're doing all the work, uh, that you're not getting the support that you need, that it's not an equal balance, that it's not an equal relationship for some of you. I feel that what you're desiring Aquarius and, and just that that things have been tough for some of you. And I'm so sorry. It just, ah, um, things have been tough and, um, probably some, for some of you, the relationship has not, you know, helped, helped that situation that it's just been another kind of burden for you. I feel that what you're hoping for, what you are desiring is you want more stability. You want more financial stability. You want more emotional stability. Um, that maybe you're not feeling very stable in your emotions or yourself. And that that's what you're desiring. You want to get, you want to get that sense of groundedness back to where you feel like you're in charge, you're in control, you know what to expect. You know, you know, some of you have just had experienced loss or, or people just not being as reliable as you need them to, or you're supporting people and you're just giving out a lot. And I just, I feel like a lot of you are weary of that and just feel, like I said, kind of feel like you're just a soldier going alone, going at it alone. And you've just been in this mentality of, of this thought process. And so because, because of this is a pinnacle, it's kind of like, it's a repetitive thought process. So I feel like some of you are coming into this month with the same mindset that, you know, this kind of mindset of lack, really lack in whatever area it is for you, whether that's in your relationship or in finances or in friendship. I mean, we're talking about love here. So if you've been having other types of struggle or difficulty, you, you know, the feeling might be that you're feeling lack in a sense of relationship or potential relationship. So whether you're in one or whether you're looking for one, I feel like for some of you Aquariuses, it's just the mindset is more lacking. Like you're thinking more negative and you know, life can do that. I mean, it's like you go through life and if like things just like get you down after a while, you're like, okay, how much can I take? You know? So, um, I definitely feel for you guys if you've been going through that. Uh, so, so I would say your hope, you know, what you, what you ultimately want at the end of the day is you want to feel a sense of grounding again. You want to feel a sense of like knowing, knowing, feeling really strong and sure in yourself, just being in control and having stability with that other person and getting your finances in control and kind of working together. Um, cause I feel that some of you are feeling isolated and alone. Um, okay. So as far as the obstacle to be overcome, we have the ACE of swords. So this kind of relates to that last card in a sense, because the ACE of swords is really about having that crystal clear logic and just cutting through everything and having a new beginning. And so I feel, I feel for some of you Aquarius is that God and the universe, they want to give you those blessings. They want to give you these new beginnings. And maybe the challenge is to believe that, you know, you deserve it or that you're worthy of it or that it's even possible. Um, so the challenge is, is to believe, to believe with your mind because maybe your, your experiences or your circumstances have kind of been showing you the opposite and the, the challenge is to believe that you, that you can create that new beginning today. If you want to, you can start creating that new beginning right now. 
that by using your intellect, by using your logic, um, your mind, the power of your mind, what are your thoughts? How have you been thinking about things? How have you been thinking about your partner or your finances or your relationship or the potential relationship? I know for myself, uh, I wasn't even aware how Nate, how many negative thoughts I thought about romance. I mean, I'm this is something I'm still working on. It's like, it's, it's almost subconscious where you don't even realize like, man, if I really wrote down every thought I had about, you know, relationships, <laughs> there'd probably be more negative than positive. So, um, I feel like for some of you, this, you know, fighting those, that old, you know, if you've had just had kind of a run of bad luck, or if you've had had someone that just hasn't treated you right or let you down or whatever, that the challenges is going to be is to let this new clarity and this new hope um, come in and just allow the blessing to flow and to believe. And you know, Aquarius, you have that power within you. And you know that you have that, you know, you have a powerful mind. And so, you know, allow your mind, you know, ask for divine guidance, ask for help to give you that fresh perspective, that new look onto the situation, because maybe that's all it takes. Maybe all, maybe it just needs a little tweaking. Maybe it just needs a different perspective, a different angle, just looking at something from a different lens, you know, uh, maybe things don't really necessarily have to change. Maybe you're in a relationship that just hasn't really been fulfilling you, but it's just a matter of perspective or, you know, just like I said, yeah, changing your thought process. So the challenge is going to be letting this creative energy in and those old repetitive negative thoughts, um, not allowing that to be the dominant thing going on for you this month. So, um, just be aware that for some of you, that is going to be the issue, but remember that you are loved and you are amazing. And God wants to give you so many wonderful gifts and you are worthy of that. You do deserve that. And so if something has been getting you down, you know, it's time to just let that go, let it go time to move on cutting that. Um, and then I also feel like this is asking you to use more of your head and your logic versus your emotions. So if something has been emotionally hurtful to you, um, that this is a time to use your mind kind of mind over matter, mind over heart, uh, you know, just allow stepping back to see things more objectively because sometimes our emotions kind of take over and we just kind of get lost in them. So sometimes, you know, sometimes it's important to follow your heart, but I feel like right now it's, it'd be better for you to to step back and look at it objectively, to step back and say, okay, if I was a stranger looking into the situation, is it really as bad as it seems? Like, is it really as hopeless as it seems? Or am I just feeling that way more? You know, like maybe your feelings are more intense this month um, as we're, our, you know, we are in retrograde. So a lot of like past emotional stuff is coming up. So, so just allowing objectivity in your relationships. And then this could also be, you know, when you step back and you look at situations objectively, you can look at the people in your life, you can look at the relationships in your life and you can see, you know, kind of in a very um, unemotional way, what needs to be changed, what needs to be tweaked, um, what needs to be kind of cut out with the sword so that something new can come into its place. So when you're less emotionally attached, because I know you're very loyal to those that you love as well. Um, so if you step back and look at it more from an objective standpoint, because really Aquarius, remember you want a lot of you, not all remember, um, you want to be grounded. You want to be financially secure. You want, you know, and, and I know you don't expect to like have tons of wealth. I mean, some of you might want to, but you just want a sense of normalcy. You want a sense of being grounded and, and feeling like your friends are there for you. You have friends, you have connections. Um, you have someone that you can count on that's got your back, you know? So look objectively at the people in your life, at the situations in your life and see if they're serving that purpose. That's what I'm getting for you. So as far as the outcome or the realization, we actually have the moon. Okay. And so what this tells me is that you're going, <laughs> I know you Aquarius is probably get tired of hearing this, but you're a spiritual, you're a spiritual sign. Um, you're going through some transformations right now in your relationships. Uh, some of you are going to take this clarity that you're receiving. And I feel that you're going to cut out some situations. You're going to cut out certain people that you're just going to realize, you know what, my happiness is more important. I have to cut some of these things out. And, um, this is going to kind of, 
The moon, it, it kind of talks about being on your own. For some of you, you're going to be on your own. And some of you are going to be a little overwhelmed by that at first because maybe you haven't been on your own for so long and you're just going to be like, ah, but it's actually an exciting Aquarius because your emotions are going to come out a little bit more and they're going to be, your intuition is going to get stronger and you're going to get more in touch with how you're really feeling about life. And even though it's a little scary to face some of those things, it's also freeing because once you deal with them, then you can get right back on that path of attracting what you want. It's kind of like a time of purging um, or, or refocusing so that you can start your manifestation. So some of you are going to clear some of the stuff out and the moon reflects a time where you're going to have to go within. You're going to be more on your own for a little bit. Um, and you're going to have thoughts and emotions. And some of those things are going to be false. Some of them are going to be true. Some of them are going to be your subconscious. And you're going to have to weed through that. So I feel like you're going to be blending the ace of swords with the moon energy. So you have like this deep intuition, your intuition and your logic uh, like I said, you're going through a really transformative time. I feel like wherever you're at, you're, you're cutting out the negativity. You're cutting out the crap. You're cutting out the stuff that that's not serving you in your life. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It may feel uncomfortable, but in the long run, you're going to be so much happier. You're going to be so much more clear and you're going to be able to attract exactly what you want. Um, for some of you, the moon can symbolize if you do stay in a relationship, um, this could symbolize that you're not sure about your partner, that there may be more than meets the eye, that maybe things on the surface, everyone thinks you're like this perfect, happy couple, but there's more than meets the eye. There's things happening under the surface that need to be looked at. It's not that everything is not true, but there's more than meets the eye. And it does talk, you know, there is a feeling of being a little cautious about a current relationship. So either way, whether you're in a relationship, Aquarius, or you're single, you're really this, I feel like there's a journey right now and it's all, it's really about you. It's about you. So you're being asked to kind of balance out your energies and go even deeper, go even deeper. And anything that has been like superficial or just on the surface, I feel like God in the universe is asking you to to cut through the negativity, to cut through, to allow new beginnings and to allow your emotions and your intuition to kind of heal you, come to the surface, to kind of balance out your energy so you can move forward on your higher path and your higher calling. So just know Aquarius, you are a light, you, you are a leader and you, you help so many people. And I know sometimes it just seems like, will the journey ever end, <laughs> but you have so much to offer and so much to give and to whom, who, to whom much is given much is, you know, asked of because you've been given so many gifts. And so I feel like the universe is just kind of taking you deeper and balancing out your energies. So let's go ahead and ask, let's look at another card. Uh, get a little more information. What is the healing energy for Aquarius in their love life uh, to help them heal and manifest their highest and best self for the month of May? And sure enough, we have teach Aquarius. So let's see. The message here is teach. The key words are shepherd, advise, learn, wisdom, reflection, and belief. Although the name of this card is teach, it brings the dual energies of both teaching and learning. You have, I love this, you have much wisdom to offer regarding affairs of the heart. This wisdom has been gained through all your joys and your sorrows. At this time, there may be an opportunity to assist someone regarding a relationship. That person may even be you. When the opportunity arises, remember the shepherd, one who gently guides his sheep along the desired path. Use that same gentleness in guiding yourself or others. There may also be an opportunity to learn right now. This could take place in many ways through conversations, observations, or even reflection. Take a moment to reflect on what you have already learned about your relationships and what you still want or need to understand. Then seek a teacher who will help you arrive at that understanding. The downside of the teach card is when our teachers want us to blindly follow their direction. In relationships, this often leads to restrictions and disappointment. These quote unquote teachers come in many forms, family, friends, society, etc. 
If a relationship is not going smoothly, maybe it's time to examine the beliefs you hold about relationships. Are they truly your beliefs or have you unintentionally accepted the beliefs of others, beliefs that no longer serve you? So the affirmation is in matters of the heart, I offer what I know. I learn what I don't know, and I remain true to myself. Wow, man, Aquarius, that, that was really validating even for me because, you know, as I do your readings, I'm like, I love Aquarius. They're like such an awesome sign, and I don't want them to struggle. Um, but this just confirms to you there's a, there's a purpose. There's a reason for all these things, and um, whatever struggle you've been going for, there's a divine reason for it. So know that you are a teacher and like it says, take on the learning as just as powerfully as you do the teaching. I really hope this has helped you. If it has, I'd so appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel. 